In this tip, I'm going to show you how you can prevent Sage 50 users from making changes to prior periods. Now, Sage 50 always keeps two years open at a time, and anything that's, that's uh, where the year has been closed, where you run the year in wizard, you know, prior to your 24 open periods, those are locked down where they cannot be changed. But here, even though our current period is set to October, a user with sufficient rights would still be able to make changes to these closed months. So how do you prevent that? Uh, it's a little bit different whether you're uh, in premium or if you're in quantum. So I'm going to show you both. It starts out the same way in either one. You're going to go to the maintain menu, down to users, and then set up security. And here in premium, you'll start by selecting the user that you want to uh, restrict their rights. And click the edit users rights button. You want to make sure that they have selected access. Then click next. And in addition to whatever other changes you might want to make, you click the company tab here on the left, scroll down to the tasks section, and here you'll find transactions in prior periods, and we want to change that to view only. Then we'll click the save button. That takes us back to the user list, and you would repeat that process for each user that you want to prevent from changing prior periods. Now quantum is just a little bit different. So we'll bring over a quantum company here. Again, we're going to go to the maintain menu, down to users, and set up security. That part is just the same. And we get a message here uh, talking about how you can take advantage of roles in quantum if you have multiple users with, that should get the same rights. So we'll click OK. And that's actually the key to what's different. Um, so here we're going to um, find the user that we want to change and we're going to look to see what role they're, they're assigned to. And while, while you're here, you should also look and see what other users are assigned that same role. Because if you, um, when you make changes to a role, it affects all the users in that role. So if you wanted some of those users to still have the ability to, to change um, transactions in prior periods, you'd want to make sure they were assigned a different role. Um, so here we've got the role of AR specialist. So we're going to go over to the role list and find AR specialist and then view edit role. And again, we're going to come down to the company tab, scroll down to the task section, and change transactions in prior periods to view only. And then we can save that. And again, it warns us that editing a role will change the rights of all users who are assigned to that. We'll click OK. And then, if you needed to adjust additional roles, you could go through and do those the same way.